the battle is over and the victory is ours. Hey guys, welcome back to the Hanwha Sense channel. My name is Ivan and today we are going to touch on a very, very important subject. And if you guys are remembering this guy, yes, this is my HP Omen 30L transplanted in this beautiful Cooler Master case for much better cooling. But for months and months, it's actually been a year I've been battling HP customer service, HP forums, any other outlet that I can find. And with the help of a lot of other people, we're trying to push as much as possible over the HP to give us a BIOS that can allow us to use any aftermarket memory and not be tied with this very expensive HP memory made, Kingston HyperX uh, Fury. And they finally budged. So we are finally here guys and before i continue a uh, huge thank you to my viewers that alerted me about this latest bios because i almost gave up and i kind of play with other computers uh, and this one as well but i didn't pay attention to latest biases and all that stuff but some of you already alerted me the latest bias f20 is uh, offering that feature and of course i'm gonna go into the details and uh, just forgive me about my you know subpar and lower quality capture device but i was able to cover most of the important things in the bios so you can see how easy now we can add any aftermarket memory and upgrade it to whatever um, brand or frequency we want to add to this computer and make it even better than it was before. For my test, I actually used this uh, Glowway memory, not a well-known company, but uh, I grabbed one of their kits. This is 16 gigabytes, 3200 megahertz uh, with S XMP profile. Um, and I just wanted to give it a try. It's a white uh, heat spreader, so kind of matches the cables of my power supply. So the process we're gonna follow, it's gonna be very easy. First of all, make sure to update to the latest BIOS. That can be done directly from HP's website or even easier through Windows Update section. Look at your additional settings there, some optional settings. Uh, most of the times, some of these more specific things are hidden in the optional upgrades. But once you are done with the upgrade and you are on the latest BIOS F20, the installation process is very easy. Just take the memory that it's coming with the computer out and put you in your favorite memory or whatever you have and you want to update to it and from there i'm going to lead you to the bias setup and i'm going to show you how everything can be done and how easy it is for us to finally be able to use an aftermarket memory to access the bias on hp omen 30l all you need to do is to restart and while it's restarting uh, continue to press f10 on your keyboard uh, after brief couple moments you'll be presented with the bias and there will be a brand new menu coming on the left side on your screen. Unfortunately, you can't really see it on my capture device. For some reason, it's cutting off that specific section, uh, but it's, it's not complicated and you will see it. It's like the, the fifth on the top. Uh, when you count, it's going to be called advanced. And that menu only appears if you install an aftermarket memory. So if you have your original memory, that menu will not be existing there. So click on this menu, advanced, and you will be presented with all the details of your specific memory already pre-installed there. So in my Glowway memory, two by eight, 3200 MHz version, uh, you will see that I have everything listed, including my timings, 16, 20, 20, and 40. It's not a very fast or very tight timings memory but uh, I just wanted to test with it and serve that purpose. And of course, much better and much faster than the GDAC profile on that stock memory. You guys know it's 22 and 22 and 22. Uh, so anyway, all you need to do is from the dropdown, select the XMP profile one, and from there, just save and exit. You have custom settings as well. So manually, you'll be able to change timings if you want to. Manually, you're gonna be able to change voltage if you want to. But personally, I advise you just follow the XMP profile. It, whatever profile is included in your specific memory will be automatically uploaded and ready to use. It cannot be easier than that. That's exactly the same approach that Dell took with their Alienware series and you guys seen on my previous videos that I was able to uh, use different kind of memories there as well. So now I guess the last one, the odd one in the room is Lenovo. Hopefully they're gonna give us 
uh, a BIOS as well that you can be uh, doing the similar things and just uh, put aftermarket memory and activate the XMP profile. But back to HP and uh, after we save all our settings and reboot, we're gonna come back to Windows and check right away on the task manager and the CPU-Z, both locations are showing 3200 megahertz memory and the CPU-Z is showing our XMP profile activated with the correct timings and 16, 20, 20 and 40. So here we are, finally a year later, we have achieved this long awaited victory uh, and HP has given us this option to use any kind of aftermarket memory in our Omen 30Ls. So that's a great, great option. I'm super excited about it. Let's talk about it in the conclusion. All right, conclusion time. And as you guys have seen, it's extremely easy now to use any kind of aftermarket memory on your Omen 30L and activate the XMP profile. I personally am super excited about this and I cannot stress enough how long of a battle that has been. Um, a year for me, uh, writing on uh, forums for HP, writing on the customer service, going back and forward, helping other people, creating videos to circumvent that issue and try to use uh, their market memory. But ultimately, they finally helped us out with this BIOS and gave us the option to use our own memory and just activate the XMP profile. Now, of course, there's slight negative of, and, uh, if you have RGB memory and if you go into your Omen uh, hub, go to the memory section, you're not going to have an option to control that RGB and you're not going to have that option to uh, enable and disable XMP profile from the software. But for me, that's not a big issue. And again, to me, I prefer to have the XMP profile enabled in the BIOS and not software. Uh, like they were doing with that GDAC profile and the HyperX Fury memories they're selling and they're using on their computers. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. If you want to support this channel, check out the link on the description below. Hit the thumbs up if you like the video. Stay tuned to the channel. There are a lot more videos coming very, very soon. Some of them will be very intriguing. I promise you that. And as always, guys, you have a wonderful day.